On 2nd February 2024, the Meghalaya Cabinet convened to discuss and approve several items. These encompassed the Meghalaya Forest Subordinate Technical Service Rules 2024, a proposal to extend the terms of the Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council and the Jaintia Hills Autonomous District Council for an additional six months, an amendment to the Meghalaya Telecom Infrastructure Policy MTIP 2024 to align it with the revised rules and guidelines of the Government of India and the introduction of a new initiative, the Meghalaya Programme for Adolescent Wellbeing, Empowerment, Resilience or Empower. The Cabinet has approved the normal service rule brought in by the Meghala uh, Forest Department and uh, the service rule was not there at, uh, uh, during this period. So today, after seeing all the uh, draft, the cabinet has ultimately approved the Meghala Forest Subordinate Technical Service Rules 2024. That is the agenda number one. Then the agenda number two came in from the Department of DCA. District Council Affairs uh, Department, where the proposal was for the extension of the terms of both Khasi and Jantia Hills District Council. So I wanted to explain here. I think you, if you could recollect, last year, towards the end of 2023, the Honorable Governor has granted both the Discussion for Constitution of the Delimitation Committee and this Delimitation Committee is on the job as per the per prescribed gu guidelines done and uh, recently both the District Council Again, they have sent the proposal to the state government for extension of delimitation committee. And that extension was also sought by both the delimitation committee through the executive committee of both Khasi and Jantia Discussion. And ultimately, the government and the Department of District Council Affairs has examined all these details and ultimately the cabinet this evening has approved the proposal for extension of the present terms of both Khasi and Jantia District Council for another six months. And this term for another six months meaning because the term of both these two district councils will be expired in the month of March, 5th March 2024. From that date itself, six months is approved for extension and now the state government will send this recommendation to the Honourable Governor for approval and for according the, the necessary order on this. So this is the agenda number two. And then again, the agenda number three that we discussed today is relating to the amendment of the Megala Telecom Infrastructure Policy, MTIP. That policy was already in place way back in 2018. <coughs> and that also was done in line with the policy issued by the government of India through IT. So today, few changes made by the government, uh, by the ministry, by the government of India, this policy. So the state government has also to make few changes, few additions 
made in line with the national policy of the government of India and uh, the cabinet today has approved this proposal for few amendments in the MTIP. New initiative taken by the government in the name of Megala Program for Adolescent <coughs> Well-Being, Empowerment and Resilience. The short form is Empower. Under this new initiative, we have the government has constituted the agencies in the name of state human state human development council to be headed by the honorable chief minister it is just like a governing body and below that again in the state level the executive committee level uh, chief secretary is the chairman of that committee and also we come down up to the district level where all the respective deputy commissioner will be the head of these committees for implementation of this new initiative briefly i just wanted to tell you what is the uh, what is the uh, role of this new initiative which is known as empower this program is specifically meant for every human being starting right from zero up to nine years old childhood and then again nine up to 17 18 19 years old and again beyond that so this initiative taken by the government will focus especially the age of 0 to 9 where the brain development is taking place and through this initiative, new initiative in the name of Empower, government will focus how to make sure the physical and mental health of those child and also to make sure that the skilling beyond nine is in place is in their mind again because after nine years old they understand what is their interest for on how interest do they want for so through this initiative taken by the by the government, I am very sure we will be able to take care of right from 0 to 9, again 9 to 18 or 19 and also beyond that. Because we really wanted to make sure that each and every citizen of the state right from their childhood 